Hello guys, Dr. Ace here and this will be a follow up on my thoughts on the new Game Plus Expo of 2022. Like I said in that video, it's really awesome what they showed for people who are fans of Japanese game. And there's a lot of big surprises for that one and I did already mention on that one. So the big surprise, I want to go more detail on this one and that is Integrate. And I gotta give props to the community manager. Because if you don't know lately what's going on, Luminous Avenger 9 2 and Azure Gun Vault 3, guess what? It has English dub. That made me happy when I heard about that. So I'll eventually get them once, you know, I have a chance, especially for Azure Strike Gun Vault 3 on the PS4 or PS5. So I gotta give props to him because apparently the backstory, which I was surprised when they did it, he actually revealed that he actually managed to convince the people at Integrate to add English dub because in the past they don't do it and they have already mentioned the reason it's kind of common cost they're not a big company there's like a small indie company so you can see why not every company can do it i already did a video if i remember links in the description box it's the same goes with idea factory international they, they gotta go case by case whether it's worth dubbing or not they're not gonna spend more money and not get anything back i mean well just look at what happened with square enix with guard of the galaxy the game is good i can tell you that I bet you it's going to be much better if you play it on uh, PS5 or Series X made by the people who did Tomb Raider Crystal Dynamic and the game sold very well from what I understand. I can see why the game is good but apparently according to Square Enix because of the budget in it they barely broke even. So yes, you're going to have those situations where even so you sold a lot unfortunately, well guess what? You didn't get anything back because of the budget you used. A great example for this one is Shimuni 1, for people who don't know. And as of right now, it's kind of weird that Shimuni 3 is a PS4 exclusive, but that's a different story there. The gist of Shimuni 1 for the Dreamcast is they put in a lot of money for the game to be developed. It was a lot of money, and they sold it for $50, and it sold a lot. But according to the guy who created Shimune, said yeah but unfortunately the pay end didn't do well they barely broke even so you can see the situation there so again depends on the company it's a case by case basis but according to the community manager for integrate he did push it hard he pushed it hard and i love it i gotta give a prop from that one high five because not only that he even do one up not so much with Azure Strike Gun Vault 3 because there's no guest character but with Luminous Adventure 9 2 with the DLC bosses Jason from Blaster Master Zero as English dub Kokoro the demon from Gal Gun she has English dub perfect man I wish this Gal Gun game would have English dub but again just have to wait and see what happened but for one understand that was a pq but pq also don't they don't fund for dubbing that's have to be integrated so just saying there but imagine gal gun with english dub so anyway yeah i gotta give props to the community manager that was actually awesome he won because this is the same thing what scott did with the yakuza series he pushed it he pushed it because after six including myself and like i said i even kind of quote unquote harass one of the other people who was a good friend of Scott, who's a fan of the Yakuza series on Twitter, I said, English dub, English dub, Mark Hamill, English dub, English dub, English dub, English dub. And Scott did hear the message, so he tried to convince Sega. And did you know that at one point, with Judgment or Judge in Japan, they were not even going to do English dub at first. But Scott pushed it so hard, showing all the social media, and Sega said, fine, because again, whether you like it or not, the last thing goes to the Japanese, especially. So they make the decision whether to put English dub or not. Kind of bullshit, but it is what it is. So like in Tech McCoy's case, the reason they always say no to English dub, 
is not because of, oh, we can release it early. Yeah, true, but it's bullshit. That's a cop-out answer is to cut costs because I told this before in my Christmas special about the English dub policy. Like Mokoi, at one point when they were releasing a lot of Koei games, Troy Musao, Trinity Musao, Fifth of the Northern Musao, and some other Koei game, and they had a mandatory English dub, they were not making anything back. It kind of go back to what I said about with Shimune and Guardian of the Galaxy, that even so, the game may be good, even so it sold well, but if the return doesn't justify your cost of developing the game, now you kind of see what happened there, so, you know, you kind of see it, bullshit, so that's what Tech Makui. I mean, they did do a survey wanting people to have English dub, but probably it's nothing, because, you know, it's, for me personally, Tech Makui, they're a lost cause. It's really unfortunate that Koei have the audacity to buy Gus, but again, it is what it is, it is unfortunate, I mean, yeah, but, you know. F you, Koei. F you. F you. F you. Apology. So anyway, back to Integrate. So props for that one. So maybe, hopefully, if there's a new Gal Gun for Switch, I mean, because, you know, Sony and Microsoft doesn't want it, or Steam, hopefully the next one will have English dub. Or better yet, paid English dub DLC. Just saying there, it is proven. My Hero Justice 2 did it, so again, <laughs> so it is possible, and I'm even being nice, I said pay, so I'll give you more money, I thought company wants money, so again, <laughs> yeah, so thoughts about that one, awesome, and I'm probably gonna eventually going to get him the long ones, I have the first two Azure gun on the Switch and on the 3DS, I want to get it on the PS4 for trophy support, but Again, at least I have that one. Of course, I do have the first Luminous Avenger 9. So I'm going to play that one. That one has Japanese sub. But again, different story there. Yeah, so props to the community manager for pushing it. Because I'm going to tell you this. Maybe it's just my belief. But most people know this. You put English dub on your Japanese game. You give your consumer option. Unless the Japanese company basically said F international fans, because how did that happen? Falcom, basically to some extent, I mean, there's a reason why there's not a worldwide release. I don't really don't give a shit as long as you have English dub. Take as much time you want. But to some extent, they admitted, they said, yes, uh, screw that. What do you want me to do? <laughs> so, again, it isn't unfortunate, but whatever. But like I said, give people option. You're gonna make more money. You have more sales. People will talk. But when you remove that option, it's a big middle finger to your international fan. And it's already been proven. Again, nothing personal to our system work. Maureen Daisuke. They learned it the hard way, believe it or not. When Guilty Gear Excerpt, Revelator, and Rev 2 did not have English dub. According to Daisuke, because of the timing, they said, once the story for Exert is done, we're going to put it by a, via update, which Daisuke lied. Shame on you, Daisuke. So I'm still waiting for that one. But that's basically what he said. He said, once the story is done, he would add the English dub for the casual of the long run, which I have no problem with that. My Hero Justice 2 kind of did it. And then Mori with Central Fiction. Yeah, again, he learned it the hard way. <laughs> For not putting English dub for your casual fan. You basically told them, F casual fan, it's all about the competitor. Okay, fine, but, you know, F you. F you. So, yeah, they learned that hard way. And, yeah, and, again, for the gist of it, it's not because of timing or whatever, to something it is. But, like I said, Daisuke admitted that he was catering to the competitor. That's why he wanted to release it early. And that the voice of Sin... His care on Exert Sign. He admitted he said that when they were doing the session, they were being rushed. Like they were prioritizing because again, they want to release early close to the Japanese release because they're just, they're a company that they can't do World War release. They kinda did it with Strive, but from what I understand, again I could be wrong, is that the reason is they were holding the game back until they can do a World War release. So in other words, even though they probably was ready for the Japanese side, they said, you know what, 
We're gonna give a bone through the international and we'll wait so we'll do a world release. So usually who normally the reason why in the past Japanese don't do it, but they need those sales. That's it. I mean, again, another rumor, just side note, is apparently Nintendo is holding up with the Switch version of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. It's already ready, so why not just release it? Again, they're holding up with, because of their option. That's it. So, at least I gotta give props to Arc System Work for learning and uh, sometimes you just have to give a bone to your international fans and they did. So, that's the reason why with Strive was a worldwide release because they were holding up the Japanese until the international version was ready. A lot of time companies don't want to do that because that's kind of like throwing money away. It's already ready. Why not put it there and have the sale? Well, you're going to have some backlash with your international fan unless international fan equals to the Japanese company F you, F you, F you. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so I digress on that one there. So, again, at least they learned their lesson and they took a note because, again, like I said, I almost forgot the reason why Central Fiction did not have an English dub was it was Mori who basically made a decision because they want to release it early. And when the complaint was there, they said, okay, well, that was a bad idea. So, yeah, like I said, props to them that they learned their lesson and even Daisuke and hopefully Mario also follow suit and said that moving forward they're always going to dub their fighting game and that they will hold up the Japanese side until everything's done to make it a worldwide release to give the competitors a bone because look what happened with Grand Blue Fantasy Versus oh I don't give a shit I had an English dub I enjoyed it I finally bought the game because it was on sale and I'm enjoying it with English dub and the uh, competitor, you know, nothing personal. Why? Why? Oh man, you screwed us with four wigs. Why? 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 Whining, whining, whining. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know. I mean, fighting games is not for the competitors. I know it helps you make a living, but to some extent, guess what? There are more people who like the game, so more options better. So, I mean, I gotta give props to XC for it. Yeah, and then SNK, SNK themselves. Guess what? 95% shares from some from the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. And maybe hopefully, I know people don't like that, but I'm not gonna go there. However, when it comes to the business side, hopefully, because that 95%, hopefully, will force the SNK developer to make. Q515 or future SK game have English dub. I would like to see that. Hey, you got you got someone who has a lot of money and put a lot of share in your SK. Yeah, the guy, you know, it's questionable in the political side, but I'm not gonna get there. I'm not gonna go there. So but I'm just looking at the perspective of business. Guess what? English dub is now considered an international language when it comes to vegan. Okay, maybe for me. Whatever. So anyway, yeah, so props to, again, to Integrate Community Manager for actually doing English dub. And uh, a lot of companies are also taking note that you really should add English dub on your Japanese game because more option means more sales to some extent. Idea Factor is also trying to do that. So anyway, props to people who basically embracing English dub in Japanese game as it should be. And if I sound political, don't take it personal, but I'm sick and tired. Japanese company not thinking about their international fan to point it's an F you, F you, F you, but it's tiring. It's really, really tiring to me to some extent. So at least some company are learning, some still not, like Tekbakoi, hopefully SNK. I mean, like I said, you got someone who's a lot of money. It has 95% of the share, so just saying good. Uh, so, yeah, that's the follow from that one. I know it went so much more than Integrate, but like I said, when it comes to English dub, I always do kind of ramble. Nothing personal. So with that, I'll see you guys later.